What's up my friends? My name is Jake. Welcome back. I hope you're ready to dive right in because this is going to be a splash. I love the ocean and all the amazing things that God has created deep inside of it. Today, we're going to see some exciting stuff. And one way that we can get all of our fins in motion is to play a game. This one's fun because we'll put a part of a creature that you find in the deep blue up on the screen. But these special creatures are really good at blending in and you're going to have a chance to see if you can find where that creature is hiding. Count it down from three with me. Ready? Three, two, one, camo! That was fun! There are so many awesome things in the deep blue, and some are so far below the surface that we may never see them. A lot of those animals are camouflaged to protect themselves from harm. And they don't really worry about predators because they trust that their camo will work. You know, that actually makes me think of what it's like to follow Jesus. Part of following Jesus is trusting Him. And when we trust Jesus completely, we don't have to worry about things that could harm us because we know that Jesus is on the lookout, protecting us from harm. So let me hear you say this after me as loud as you can. Trust. Trust. Jesus. Jesus. Great job. When we're not sure about what's happening in our life, we can show Jesus we trust him by focusing on how good he is instead of worrying. So let's do that together now. some great singing. Now, 
My friend Cora is diving into something awesome today. She's full of knowledge and know-how, and she loves the ocean just as much as I do. Hey, look, it's my friends. Yes, you. I love it when you guys stop by to hang. While you're here, I figured we'd take a look into one of my most favorite maritime activities, scuba diving. Now, there are lots of cool things to know about scuba diving before you just, well, dive in. The first thing every diver needs is the right kind of equipment. Each piece is important for keeping you safe. To start with, you're going to need a diving mask. This allows you to see your surroundings once you dive in and it protects your nose from breathing in water. But don't worry, your mouth is protected too because the mask actually has a special connection there. Just as the top part keeps you from breathing through your nose, the mouthpiece encourages you to breathe through your mouth. And don't worry, while one end is connected to you, the other end is connected to an oxygen tank. So when you're breathing, you're not taking in water. You can trust that you're safe and sound because that oxygen is keeping you alive. But that's not all you're going to need to be a real diver. There's another essential piece of the diver's uniform, and that's the wetsuit. The wetsuit itself has two jobs, protect your skin and keep you warm. The deeper the water, the colder the temperatures. That's because of the distance between you and the sunlight. So depending on how low you wanna dive, you're gonna to want to pick up a thick enough wetsuit to keep you warm. And while you may be afraid of what kind of critters could be down where you're diving, never fear, the wetsuit is here. That whole protecting your skin thing, it's not just from the creatures of the deep, it's also from rocky reefs, which could scrape your skin and cause you to bleed. And let's just say blood in the water might bring along one hungry animal. Among other equipment, you'll need fins for your feet, gloves for your hands, and you'll probably want an underwater camera as well. When you take all the equipment into consideration, you realize it's definitely protecting you from harm. And while it's important, there's something else you gotta make sure you do before you can just hit the deep waters. And that's train with a diving instructor. A good instructor will teach you breathing techniques, what fish you can get close to, and which ones you should stay away from, how to get back to the surface, and so much more. When it comes to diving, there are a lot of things you've got to do to plan and prepare, but when the waters rise, you gotta know that your equipment and training isn't going to fail you. When I think about it, I realize that diving isn't much different than following Jesus, and that's because it requires one big word, trust. Just like you're trusting that your wetsuit is gonna keep your skin safe from any reefy dangers, when it comes to Jesus, you can trust that each and every day, he's protecting you and guiding you, even when you can't see it. Just like the dark depths of the ocean, there are going to be things happening around us that we just can't understand. But there's one thing I know, I can trust Jesus all the way, all the time. That was fascinating. Can you believe all the trust it takes to go for a deep dive like that? Cora always finds ways to help us understand more about how everything in creation points us to Jesus. That reminds me a lot of this guy from the Bible named Peter. Here, you guys check this out. God's story. Peter walks on water. So remember how part of God's story is about a guy named Simon who was renamed Peter because he was one of the first people to follow Jesus? Well, it goes like this. Peter left everything to follow Jesus with 11 other guys. They were called disciples. And one day, they were with Jesus while he was teaching a large crowd. After teaching, Jesus wanted some time alone to pray. He told his disciples to go ahead of him in a boat across the Sea of Galilee. Later that night, the wind picked up, and the boat was surrounded by crashing waves. Meanwhile, Jesus decided to join them. And since Jesus can do anything, he walked out to the boat, right on top of the water. When the disciples saw a man walking across the dark sea, they had no idea it was Jesus. They thought it was a ghost. Jesus said, be brave. It's me, don't be afraid. Peter decided to find out for himself. 
He said, If it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. So Jesus said, Come. Kids, if Jesus told you to step out onto the stormy waves, would you do it? Well, Peter did. He got out and walked on top of the water just like Jesus. As soon as he saw the crashing waves, though, he got scared and started to sink. Jesus caught him and said, Your faith is so small. Why did you doubt me? It might sound kind of surprising that Jesus called Peter's faith small when he was the only one brave enough to get out of the boat. But the truth is, Jesus is powerful and can help us do anything. He wants us to trust him even when it makes no sense or scary things are happening around us. When Jesus and Peter climbed into the boat, all the disciples realized Jesus is most definitely the Son of God. So they worshiped him. And that's part of the story of Peter. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Peter was a disciple. The disciples got in a boat. Jesus prayed. Waves crashed. Jesus walked on water. The disciples got scared. Jesus told Peter to come. Peter walked on water. He saw the waves. He got scared. He sunk. Jesus caught him. The disciples worshiped Jesus. And that's a part of God's story. When Peter trusted Jesus and stepped out of that boat, a miracle happened. Not only did he walk on water, but he also saw that Jesus could be trusted completely. Okay, I want to see if you can remember some of the things we've talked about today. So I have a few questions for you. What crazy thing did Peter do that showed he trusted Jesus? A, dance in a boat. B, walk on water. C, become a lifeguard. Or D, all of the above. Walk on water. You got it. Peter trusted Jesus so much that when Jesus said to come to him on the water, Peter did it. Okay, ready for the next one? Why can we trust Jesus? A, he's God's son. B, he's in control of all things. C, he rose from the dead. Or D, all of the above. All of those are reasons why we can trust Jesus. You guys, today has been so much fun, and I hope that you'll come back next week. Before you go, let's pray together. Jesus, we know that we can trust you because you are awesome. Please show us all of the ways that you are taking care of us every day. Amen.